My lord, you called for me? It is nearly time for your meeting with the merchants. You have but three hours left. Will you be needing my assistance with anything? Hmm? Ah, yes. The garments you ordered have arrived. I see. So you've chosen a lady to accompany you already. That is very good news. I'm sure the Grand Duke will be pleased. But you did order it quite late. Did you wish to send this as a gift to the lady you have chosen for tonight? Ah, I see. Oh, what a state do they reside in. We would have to depart very quickly to get them this dress with ample time for the lady to get ready. This estate? Ah, perhaps you have taken a fancy to Lady Erin. I have seen you two, well, grow closer. I congratulate you, my lord. I'm glad that you found someone to your liking. I'm sure she will be delighted. Huh? If not Lady Erin, then who? I don't understand, my lord. You can't possibly mean this dress is for me. You want me to what? My lord, I advise you to see these avoidance tactics of yours. Her father will be very angry. Uh, why do you always wish to drag me into your odd shenanigans? Well, I cannot argue with my lord. So, very well. I shall pose as your lady tonight. However, after this, you must promise me to stop your silly games after this. I want you to find a wife you will love and you will be happy with. Besides, to go out on a night like this with your maid of all people is ridiculous. But I will accept this dress, since it is from you. Thank you, my lord. I humbly and graciously accept your gift. Well, if that is all, I will get ready, and I shall meet you by the gate, my lord. Mm, I do hope I look somewhat decent. I don't know. I do like this dress, though. I'm surprised he pinpointed my taste so well. It's simple. Uh, what have I gotten myself into? This is... This is all a little too indulgent. Unless... Uh, no, no, I'm just being silly. I'm just being used as an excuse, is all. E yes, that's all. <laughs> Don't give it too much thought. Minea, you're just a servant. Nothing more. Just a servant. Well, let's go. Ah, my lord, I apologize for being late. I hope I did not make you wait too long. Uh, oh, I suppose I am right on time. Well, shall we depart then? I will accompany you to the banquet as well as the lantern viewing. There are a few activities I have noted down that should take up enough time to have your father be successfully convinced that you've, well, found yourself a lady. I hope that I will suffice as a replacement for a real noble lady. I tried my best to look the part, but it's rather difficult. I haven't dressed up since my coming of age, and... Well, uh, let's get going. We have ample time before we must arrive, but there's no use in standing here. My lord, if you may. Uh, oh, right. Um, I'm the lady this time, aren't I? This feels so incredibly wrong. Then I shall enter the carriage first. Thank you, my lord. Hmm. This is my first time in such a luxurious carriage. Ah. Yes, I suppose it would make sense to splurge on the lady you fancy. I suppose you're playing the role of a love-struck lord tonight. Very well. I shall play my part as well as I can. Shall I just pretend that you're one of the suitors that have proposed to me? <laughs> 
I shall play along with this game of yours. I suppose it could be a little fun. But remember what I said. You must stop these silly games after tonight. All right? I wish not to find you in anguish after your father finds out you've yet to find a wife and then forces it upon you. Then again, I'm playing the same game with my parents. It always seems like they want to get rid of me as soon as possible. Yet my sister... Uh, never mind me. Just some useless thoughts. Ah, have you ever experienced the streets during the rites of Kite? All across the land, people cast their wishes up above toward the heavens. It's quite a beautiful sight. I should tell you, the first time I had ever seen the lanterns was a little while before I'd come here. Although it's somewhat of a unsavory tale. Shall I indulge you while we travel toward the town center? Very well, then. I was but the age of seven or so. My dearest sister had been invited to a tea party with the first and second princess. Ah, right. Now that you mention it, my father, Baron Clark, isn't exactly the biggest noble, so it must seem kind of odd to be close with the imperial family. Well, apparently, we are distant cousins of the late Empress, bless her soul. That is why my sister was invited. Actually, were you not somewhat close to the first princess? Ah, I see. I suppose things have been quite busy ever since your coming of age, hmm. Though no, you still seem to make time for the crown prince. Then again, you work very closely. I've never seen the first princess myself, though I've heard some unsavory rumors. Regardless, let me continue. My parents said that I was far too young to attend a tea party like that, despite apparently being the same age as the princess. My sister was also only a year or so older than I, and so I found it unfair. I snuck into a compartment in my sister's carriage and snuck into the party. However, I was soon caught by her. She told me, stay in the carriage, or else I'll report you to our parents. <laughs> yeah. So I was left to my own devices in a stuffy carriage, and when we arrived back to our estate, she tattled on me anyway. My parents were horrified and locked me away in a room as punishment. Since my room was at the very top of the house, there was a very large window that opens up there. Within a week of being locked up, I was, well, bored, staring out the window, waiting for my punishment to be over. However, just then, the skies were lit with lanterns floating toward the heavens. My parents had left the house to celebrate the festival, and so I snuck out the window just to stare at the sky. Although unsavory, the rites of Kaish have always been my favorite. It gave me hope. <laughs> but I'm sure you've seen the lanterns above yourself. Though this will probably be the first time you'll really see them up close. They're beautiful. I really did hope that the first time you'd go with the lady you fancy. Though I suppose there's always next year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're always such a joker. I told you, you can't get me to go along with any more of your shenanigans. I'm not going with you again. At least not if avoiding marriage is your only reason. Huh? Never mind. But after tonight, I will only perform the duties a maid should be doing. But alas, we've already arrived at the banquet. Take your arm? Ah, you are right, aren't you? Well, let's play the part, shall we, my lord? Let's hope the Grand Duke will be fooled by that performance, hmm? <laughs> I haven't been to an event like that in forever. It was quite grand. Mm, I suppose they are quite appreciative of the Grand Duke's achievements, hmm? Though, I've heard as of late that although the battles have ceased because of the truce, I heard it will end as soon as the Kingdom of Olami is dealt with. Hmm... Although Olami hasn't done any direct fighting to either Pencos or Kianos, 
it seems as if a larger threat is occurring. Although it's wrapped up quite secretly so no one knows what's going on. <sighs> enough about politics. You get enough of that while you're working. How about we finally enjoy the festival, hmm? Ah, uh, right, my plans for tonight. Well, we made quite the impression at the banquet. I'd like to visit the stalls. Perhaps you'd find something you like? <laughs> There's many cheap deals as long as you know how to haggle. There uh, will also be a performance by the Pengos Desbian Guild. Mm, finally, we'll go to this one hill in the area, release some lanterns. <laughs> that should suffice, I think. Well then, let's get this fake, uh, date started, shall we? Uh, it's been quite a while since I've been out and about. Uh, the dress? Uh, yes, my lord. It's beautiful. Thank you. When we get back to the estate, I'll bake some treats for you again in return. Hmm? What do you mean? It's no hassle. It feels as if it's no work at all if it's for you. After all, I love serving you as your maid. Yes, as your maid. You're the kindest nobleman I've served. Even my family is harsher on me when I make mistakes. <laughs> ah, look at this hairpin. It's quite pretty, isn't it? <sighs> Even during the rites of Christ, it's expensive. Hmm? What do you mean by that? I can barely afford something like this. I have expenses. Ah, uh, yes, your family pays me very well. Do not worry, my lord. It's just that my pay goes to my family. They need it for my sister's dowry. No, I can't argue. They, they need it. If my sister gets married to the Marquise, she'll need a large dowry. Once they get married, my family will be receiving support from the Marquise. Then I won't have to pay anymore. I'll be free to live on my own, to continue working at your estate. No, you need not worry. It'll only, well, perhaps another month or two. She'll get married soon. Until then, I must keep working. Uh, well, let's move on. Oh, but the street is good for shopping when the festival isn't going on. Lots of cafes, jewelry shops, boutiques. Perfect place to go on a date. <laughs> well, that's what I hear, anyway. Ah, look, there's the performance I was talking about. It's quite amazing that they're willing to perform for free. <laughs> they're quite famous, aren't they? Ah, of course, it's this story. Mm hmm? Oh, well, it's quite the famous love story. I'm surprised you haven't heard of it. It's about the origins of the rites of Kaish, actually. Ah, well, the gods, Ora and Ea, they were the ones who blessed our great Empress Era. Well, yes, according to the legends, Ora and Era were both humans who sought to cleanse the corrupt gods from above. However, after a long battle, they both suffered wounds beyond comprehension, and so... Before dying, they cast out a wish on a burning piece of paper. They both wished for one another to live on, and somehow, miraculously, they transcended to the heavens as powerful gods and sealed the corrupt ones away. And that is the origin of the festival. Although we've evolved to releasing our wishes toward Aura and Ea instead of burning scraps toward the earth. And, although this is all but a legend, who knows what truly happened? All we know is that their love was powerful and that their wishes were granted, one way or another. Oh well, I suppose it's time we continue this little ritual, hmm? <laughs> Let's stop by the Alta Hill. Merchants will be there selling lanterns, and the spot itself is the best for viewing the town. Uh, yes, the lanterns will continue to be released up until midnight, I believe. Well, I think this is a suitable spot. Shall we write our wishes? It's been quite a while since I've done this myself. Mm hmm. What should I wish for? Ah, I know. <laughs> there we go. It's a very simple wish. 
Well, I wished for your happiness, is all. <laughs> of course, your happiness goes above my own. I told you, I'm fine. Well, what about your wish? Mm hmm? You won't tell me? Why not? It's not as if there's any bad superstitions with revealing your wish. Very well, my lord. Regardless, I hope your wish comes true. Let's release them. <laughs> okay. Here we go. On the count of three. One, two, three. Ah, there they go. Bless Aura and Ea, gods above. May our wishes be blessed. <laughs> beautiful? Uh, yes, the sky is very beautiful indeed. Huh? Why are you chuckling? Mm, well, whatever you say, I suppose. <sighs> I wish I could stay in this moment forever with you. I mean, it's just so peaceful and you're constantly busy. I'm glad that I came with you today. It seemed to clear your mind is all I meant. Well, enough of that. I suppose we should head back to the mansion. It's getting quite late and it's a tad chilly. Thank you again, my lord. It was a wonderful outing. I hope my company tonight was not displeasing. But remember what I said, all right? Uh, well, my lord, uh, the carriage has arrived. Please enter if you may. Oh, right. I forgot. I suppose we should continue this little charade until we arrive then. Very well. <laughs> Thank you, my lord. Uh, let us go to the estate. And after this, we will return to our normal positions. Yes? Very well, then. In the meantime... I think I'll enjoy this a little more till we arrive.